Welcome guys to the first episode of 1960s farming. The background behind this is we are on Tahitian County, which is a map based out of, I'd say, central Iowa, south, southwestern Iowa, Madison County, if you know where that is. The story behind this is we have what's called the Johnny Bros. We got Nate Johnny, Grant Johnny, and Buck Johnny. Both of our parents died kind of young, and we inherited 160 acres here. Both of our parents never farmed, but they had 160 acres from their grandparents, and so it's getting passed down to, down to us. So we're going to try and start farming. Also, guys, for you guys asking about American farming, we are super, super close. Like I've always said on the game, we're actually opening up another round of beta testers. We're looking just to get like five or 10 more beta testers. I'm going to have a forum down below, like a Google Forms, where you can enter to be a beta tester. Now, there's probably going to be a lot of people that sign up for it. So we're only going to select a few. The better chance you'll have to be a beta tester is if you fill out the form the best you can to your ability. Like if I ask for experience, make sure to write really good experiences out. Also, farm progress show, I'll be there two. Tuesday, the first day, that's it. Just walking around. We will not have a booth. So if you want to see me or something, feel free to say hi. Now to start it off, I've got a 1966 Chevy K10. She's specced out pretty good. She's got a four inch lift on her, got 33 inch mud tires. It's it's pretty nice. I'm, I'm not going to lie, especially for a starting farmer, but it's going to be a perfect truck. Nate, I'll let him explain his side. This is a 1949 524 Kenworth. Our grandpa bought this and had a custom trucking job, which our dad took over. And now that dad passed away, he gave it to me. So I'm going to be taking this over and hopefully earning a little bit extra money on the side with the farm. This episode is going to be building our farmstead from scratch right here. There's a bunch of farms around here, but none I was like are perfect for what we want to do with all the livestock we want to do. One other per public service announcement. This map is actually, I think it's a private map right now, made by DR Modding. And so it'll eventually be on his Patreon page if you are. A patreon contributor you'll have early access and you'll be able to be a beta tester also shout out to antler 22 for all the custom textures okay so nate's gonna give us a ride to the middle of the field here the reason we're in his semi is because my truck doesn't have passenger scrap can you shift her listen there's 18 of these gears okay what do you want from me we're gonna get building the johnny bros farm let's go So to give you guys a tour on ground level, we have, this is gonna be like steel cold storage. It's maybe a little modern for the 1960s for sure. Like this would probably be like in 1980s, 70s. And then we've got our three bins so we can store like corn in one, soybeans in another. We got Nate on the Demco. And then we got this old barn, which I think we're gonna, I haven't seen the inside, but I'm thinking, yeah, we're gonna use this for hay. Then we got our house inside, which I don't think we can go inside. No, can't go inside. We got our shed, which is like really nice actually for the 1960s. And then this is going to be like our main shop area for our tractors. It's not modern. It's pretty darn old. And so this is where we'll like work on tractors, store our tractors, store our equipment, stuff like that. Then this is going to be our cattle barn where we feed out cattle, take them to Slaughterhouse, which Nate actually has like a mod. You can get beef out of your cattle and then like resell it or something like that. We'll mess with it. Then we got our silage pit, manure bunker here. I'm not sure how the manure heap's going to work out, but I'm assuming it just takes from over here I, I don't know and then we got cold storage over here and our chickens next step is to go buy our starting machinery we're gonna take nate buck and me we're gonna go pick some up i'm not sure how much money we're gonna start with we need some money just to build the farm of course we own, currently own 94 here field 94 but it's like plot 50 on the map so our competitors which you guys are gonna see eventually are gonna compete in two different farms against us they own this little sliver here and then they own 57 which is like a bunch of different fields here so we're gonna borrow the equity off of our 160 acres here and purchase field 53 so we have probably two or three more fields come with 53 here so we're going to purchase this and then this is all the land we're going to start with there we go so we own it 
So that's what it looks like right now for land ownership. Okay, so the plan is for starting equipment is to give us enough money to start with. We won't have like a set budget, but we kind of need enough tractors, enough implements, and like a combine to get started with. So for a tractor, here's kind of some of the options we have, guys. Each brother is going to get a tractor. One of these tractors, my brother owns in real life. Spencer owns in real life, which we use on the farm. So I'm going to buy that one. Starting off, my personal tractor that we're going to use on this farm is a 4020. I know what you guys are saying. Like, oh, Grant, it's just a classic tractor. Like, everybody always gets a 4020. Well, got kind of a connection to it. So we're going to stay with the 4020. So I need as much close as possible to Firestone tires because I love Firestone tires. So we're going to keep that the same. I will get a front loader attachment on the tractor just because we may need that. So this is going to be our starting tractor right here at least my starting tractor. Is that Prius, Buck? Yeah, I'm driving a car that didn't exist for another <laughs> 60 years. Now, if we have any big implements, good things Buck's got the El Camino because we can put it in the trunk of the bed of his uh, car. It's weird to say. Okay, so we made it to the dealership. Now, we're going to just basically go through and select what we need to start off with. It's tough sticking with money because values change from 1960s to today. You guys know what I'm getting, the John Deere 4020. Let's see what Buck and Nate are doing. I'm not taking green. Not taking green? Nope, I'm taking orange. All oh, my D21. Chalmers, baby. <laughs> Buck's gonna be the Alice guy. Nate, what do you got? Well, I gotta go with the biggest tractor they got on the lot. We gotta go with the 5020. So you're taking my spot now. Yeah, I'm taking Buck's spot. Okay, so I got the 4020. I'll get a front loader for it, so we'll have at least one loader. Buck, can you get row crop tires on yours? No. We can get a set of row crops for Nate's. Okay, yeah, we may have to do that with the 5020 a little bit, switch them out. So I'm gonna go with the John Deere 12 row planter here, 71 flex. Buck's got an old over planter here, and so it's an eight row, so it should work pretty good. So we'll actually have be around two planters. Like, we'll be pretty big. We'll probably grab a wagon, a fuel cultivator, and then we need hay equipment too. And then a combine. What combine are we buying, boys? So, we got an issue. This one right here, you can only use a soybean header. But this one over here, we can have a corn and bean header on or the pull binds. Should we do one of these combines to start? A John Deere 7721? And then eventually we can move up to something else? Yeah, I think that's the perfect way to go. And then what about a baler? I think they only got one baler on the lot. We'll do that yeah, one. And this... then what hay rack do you guys want? Should we get one with the sides or no? It'd be easier to unload them without the sides. Okay, so we're rolling out. Nate already got his semi there. We have pretty much most of the other implements there. I'm pulling two Kill Bros wagons. Buck's got his Alice Chalmers field cultivator, and Nate's got the combine. How fast can y'all go back there? I can go 20. 20. Oh, I can only go 18. How we doing, Nate? We're nowhere near. <laughs> Okay, so there's actually two entrances to our farm. We got this one, which is kind of more of a personal entrance that goes to the house. And then we have the one that Buck's coming up to here that's more of like the farm entrance. This is probably one of my favorite farm builds we've ever done. It just, I love the look of it. I love the layout and look of it. It just, <laughs> it feels very American. Okay, so we're gonna back the Kilbros wagons in the cold storage here, or the open lofts cold storage, I should say. There we go, we should be good. And then we'll keep our tractors probably in this cold storage shed. We could keep them in the shop, but we need room in there to kind of work on equipment over there. So we'll keep them in that. Okay, so we got all of our equipment back on the farm. We got all of our tractors in cold storage. Buck's just staring at his Alice, of course. That's all he does all day, it seems like. We got the combine and we have 30 cattle. So 30 head of Angus cattle is what we're starting with. They don't have feeds. So we got to get them feed. And we currently have $10,000. Thanks for watching the first episode, guys. We'll see you in episode number two.